In Southern California, it was a hot day in Venice Beach. The high actually reached 93 degrees today, but the extreme temperatures didn't stop some people from hitting up the skate park. This is how the Venice Beach skate park ended up looking like around at noon today. And I just look at that and I see the, uh, that hot concrete and hopefully there wasn't too many uh, concrete burns or skating burns. I don't know what the actual colloquial term is, but I understand that you, Michelle, recently you were actually in California. Was it like that when you were there? No, it was only in the 60s and then I came back and now it's only in the 40s here. So I'm certainly waiting for things to warm up and unfortunately that is not going to be the case. We had some nice weather the last couple of days. 60s, in fact, look at the high temperatures from today. 64 in Moses Lake, almost 70 in the Tri-Cities, 61 in Lewiston. It officially made it to 60 in Spokane and mid 50s in Sandpoint. Uh, so pretty nice temperature wise today. No, we did have to deal with a lot of wind, but weather is definitely changing. The cold air is pushing through. In fact, we've got reports. It is snowing at Snoqualmie Pass and at Stevens Pass as well, where winter weather advisories are in effect. Could see up to a foot of snow. Travel is going to be slow going that winter weather advisory continues until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, currently, we've got 40 degrees and it's still really windy out there. Winds out of the southwest at 21 miles per hour. We're not seeing those higher gusts right now, but we could see gusts up to 35 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon. The wind's just really going to be constantly blowing temperature wise and uh, sky cover looking for partly cloudy skies overnight. So pretty quiet weather uh, overnight lows, though, dropping down into the 30s and we're probably going to see lows back down into the upper 20s over the next several days and even in into next week. So a breezy Saturday gust up to 35 miles per hour, much colder for the entire weekend highs only in the middle 40s. And to add insult to injury, we may even see a few snow showers. Just a slight chance tomorrow of a few sprinkles could see some snow mixed in again on Sunday and then again on Monday and later on in the week. I know we just can't get rid of winter on the weather map right now. Trough of low pressure is currently pushing through. That's going to be uh, followed by that cold weather, that cold air that's just going to stick around all week and it all into next week. Future tracker uh, is show pretty quiet conditions overnight, though. We may see a little bit of sunshine tomorrow morning. That's not going to really help warm things up, and then we'll see a few scattered light rain and snow showers through the afternoon. Things will quiet down again for tomorrow evening and then again on Sunday where the temperatures are going to be even a little bit colder. We have a better chance of seeing a little bit of light snow rather than light rain, so just be prepared for that on Sunday afternoon and evening as well. High temperatures tomorrow, upper 40s in Grand Coulee. We'll still make it up into the low 50s in Moses Lake, Ritzville right at 50, but then 40s from Davenport eastward into Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. Highs in the mid 40s in Sandpoint, only 44 in St. John and a chilly day in Kellogg, 42 degrees there. Pullman topping out only at 44. Here's a look at the extended forecast. Breezy and cool tomorrow, even colder with a few snow showers on Sunday. Chance of some snow showers on Monday and Tuesday. High temperatures finally making their way back up to 50 by the end of next week. We'll be back after the break.